Well, why is there shooting? Welcome back, everyone, to Dishonored. Hello. My uncle's been oh, killed, hasn't he? Dang it. I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer <sighs> Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything dang else. Dang it. Now I feel sad. My uncle was better to me than my father. Ah, He's I don't a even, example for his I family. feel sad now. They're all corrupt. If this is going to work, I need to take get down to save the Lord that, Regent that boy. All of his key allies. You know. Attention. Oh. Yes. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell. I didn't even have to kill him. I just. I knew he you just were. Has, he's really pretty looking. With Campbell yeah. gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall. Oh. Yes. In Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. Whoa. Whoa. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, and step out as the hero further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Indeed. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's How did I get here so late? It was... Like... Yeah, I'll just... I'll go exploring for a bit. I want to talk to... Piero. Or Sam. Sailors or not Sam. Tales of monsters Sam. Oh, far out to sea. But I'll tell you. Many people join the water for the wrong reasons, reason, but, but not him. Bad. Bad. He wanted to go water. I already feel bad. You don't need to tell me how good of a boy he was. I already feel bad. I saved him the first time. Come on. Can you even save him this time? And now we don't get this stupid. Uh, we don't even. Now I'm really sad. We don't get the light feet as early as we could have it. Ooh, 75 points. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of money. That's a bank power. I don't really care about that. My, there is something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. Your oil. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true. In several I'm pretty ways. amazing. I'm basically a god. I didn't even kill anyone. I'd be pretty spooked. Do you mean to tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly? Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Hound Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. Yeah, you if need to here, be a lady. I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Time yes, to go to sleep. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future empress? I can find some cash money laying around, which I probably can't. Made a capital oh. offense, and guardsmen are authorized we'll have to, find to carry out this sentence. With on Campbell this out of play, they're likely the offenders to be probably not. Are they're kind of dumb. Considering I find her exactly where the book says. I mean, I don't find her. It's really suspenseful. It's not really that suspenseful. Right up the stairs. It's really tiring. Oh, I forgot about this. That window. Is there anything in my room I need? Ah! I hate everything. Ooh, take one. I can use the sink. Sweet. I can drink from the sink. Even better. All right, well, we'll just go to sleep then. I don't think anything fancy happens like last time.
Where's Martin? Oh, yeah, the guy we saved. <laughs> Forgot about that already. It is so hot in my room. It's like 500 degrees. I'd have a fan on if it weren't so loud. Maybe, maybe I'll turn a tiny fan on and see if that does it. Okay, that's not really that audible. Let me check the... Yeah, that's that's manageable. I can deal with this. And I don't feel like I'm gonna burn to death. Uh... Abraham Luck. Let's go talk to him. Uh, this way? Ah, I'm sure I can get out this way. And the state ah. on you. Ah, get me out of here. Ah. I didn't do that. Wait, what's happening? Is that so? Any case, oh. you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Ah, Very well. You. You're lucky well, I found them before the Admiral did. Making mistakes in books. I can't believe you. Can't even write. Hello. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night. Moving through the storm. Oh, we're gonna get to see the, the weepers. Most likely a weeper. Poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you I want to go. I do want to go that route. I need sleep poison. I have one, but I think there's two down there, so we'll grab this sleepy stuff. I know the Golden Cat, not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blue. I can kill both these people. If anyone is curious? Don't. I brought you tea. She didn't seem to care at all. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a good thing I saved. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry. I only thought... Never mind, Max. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Bye, Cloyster. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. In, like, all of his areas. Oh. Corvo, my friend, do you need ammunition or weaponry? Would you like me to craft something for you? I, yeah. I need sleep bolts. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll grab a, like, a few more of those. And I think we're good. Combat sleep dart. That is. Oh, I can upgrade the sleep darts so that they're immediate, I guess. Alright, let's go get these weepers, weepers, creepers. Hello, you weepy boys. Don't touch me. You're not dead, are you? Ah, dang it. 
Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy. Corvo, my friend. Do you yep. need ammunition? Yep. Weaponry? Sorry, yep. Would you like me to craft something for you? I guess I don't need like seven or however many, but I'll just buy like three. Go, 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 go. Come on. Jump. Get jumped over. So, hope I. As soon as Dishonored 2 goes on sale, I'll pick it up and I'll play through that. I'll I'll do my first playthrough of that and I'll record it. Because that's originally what I was gonna do with this game. <laughs> I was I was gonna record my first playthrough. But uh, every time I went to record it, I either forgot or just didn't really want to. And then so I I figured I just <laughs> I just play. <coughs> I just play it, and yeah, I have to say I was very impressed. How do I only have two? God, I thought I had three, and I'm stuck on an invisible or something. And there's another bone charm or a room. Oh, there's a bone charm I picked up. Not a room. There we go. pick this. We'll upgrade that. And then let's look at our bone charms. Upgrades. I don't actually remember how to look at my bone charms. If I'm being honest. Tutorial, sure. Bone charms. That didn't help. Oh well. We'll just get back. But yeah, as soon as, as Dishonored 2. Oh, that's not what I was saying. Uh, yeah, I played played through this, loved it so much that now I wanted I want to play it again, and I figured I'd record it this time because I've been needing to record something. We're gonna use our fancy long blink now. Whoa, look at how far we can blink. Whoa. Ready? Ready? Whoa. Halfway across the world. And get up there, not even a problem. So agile now. What are you doing? It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning. Yeah, I don't really care. Chores, I'm just the confused as to why you're delivered. leaning on nothing. That was all it took. And jump over the table. Oh, Corvo. Hello. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday Hopefully. soon. Hopefully. I owe you thanks for my rescue. You're welcome. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. Ooh. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. That's pretty cool. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate oh. twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. That's a horrid Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, I don't think Emily they have to must die. be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. Okay. I think it's best. Hello. Corvo, a moment sure. if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Cruel beyond words, indeed. Further, I wasn't really my listening. brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. 
These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Wow. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the city watch. So it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change well, my Well, if it makes you feel better, I'm not even gonna kill them. So... Yeah. Hello, Sam. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. Yeah, let's go. Let's go find Emily with her spooky mask. Gotta find that girl, and she's gonna come with us back to the house because she's what we need to do find right now. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. Wow. The entrance is near Holder Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, <coughs> gets back all safe and sure. <coughs> the Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on how to get yeah, inside. Yeah, we're gonna talk to Slackjaw. If he don't kill you, this here's his territory. He and his bottles. That's what I did last time. I talked to Slackjaw. Wall whiskey factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. At least I'm sitting on the, the, on the fancy up. chair this time. A river hand I know pulled up alongside me last night and said there's one of those watchtowers on Clavering now. Okay. Okay. Unless you get rid of okay. Campbell shook up the okay. region. Okay. I understand. Yeah, I'm listening. I understand. Oh. This is what would happen if I killed a lot of people. This is what happens when I kill no people, like now. No chaos. What the hell? Those are explosions. I hope those don't count towards my death. You're a piece of trash, you ask me. Yeah, so we're gonna go over to... Attention, Dunwall mm -hmm. citizens. That oh. is Campbell, formerly high overseer. Anything in your no pocket for a poor working man? Huh, pal? Can I give him money? You want a slack jaws, man? That's true with me. It's pretty possible. It's pretty cool, isn't it? You didn't even know I could do that. You thought I was just a regular boy. But no, I'm a magician. Supta. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's the one. Hello. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. Yeah, I think I knew that. He yeah, wants to talk. Let's go. Let's go find Slackjaw. I know there's a, there's a bone charm nearby, but we can't actually get into it. You just need a bit. Ain't you heard? Slack chunk. Good stuff. Uh, so, we'll, we'll talk to this guy and we'll get the mission, but we're going to do it in the next episode. Because I don't think we have time to do what he's wanting us to do. My men were right. You do look like a man. I haven't even murder. killed a boy yet. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. 
But you're gonna walk in there, dress like that, and kill the nope. Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand. We're gonna do it not Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. Might be a fellow name of Galvani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. Okay. You do that for me, and I'll get you a better way into the Golden Castle. Yeah, so he's gonna do this, and he's gonna give us a way to, to deal with the Pendletons, which is actually something I didn't do the first time. I took, I killed them myself. Oh, I can take, get an empty vial. I can put it in here. I can open. You wanna make some bootleg elixir for yourself? You go ahead. Yep. Can't have you catching the plague. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. That's a giant cigarette. So yeah, oh, I almost forgot we're ending the episode. Uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.